a beautiful day. Whoa! Uh, what the Amanda Bynes career is that? Oh, it's one of those paper word thingies. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why is that peculiar, my educational talking time traveling kitty cat? What? Finally. What? <sighs> We've got to go back. Back where? Back to the 90s! <laughs> Wishbone! Wishbone was a TV show from 1995 about a dog that would go back into time in his dreams and only characters in his daydreams can hear Wishbone speak. The characters from his daydreams see Wishbone as whichever famous character he is currently portraying and not as a dog. The show won four awards then arose several books following the same principle as his show with famous tales of classic literature. Also this dog was everywhere. In The Mask, Milo and Otis, That Darn Cat, and Garfield 2, he's kind of like the Ace Ventura monkey for doggos. And that theme song! What's the story, Wishbone? What's this you're dreaming of? I've literally been singing it all week. What's, What's the story, story Wishbone? Well, Listen to those fucking pipe flutes! Yes! Look at the show, man. We got a, we got the kid and the dog being told off by the teacher with the massive glasses. This is the 90s, man. This is the fucking 90s. Bingo. No, 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 no. This is this is Wishbone. And what a cutie too. Cute. I think she means dashingly <laughs> handsome. Uh -huh. Being this little dude was in the 90s, also known as the era of point and clicks, why not give this little hero his own little game? What's the story, Wishbone? And the amazing Odyssey! Well, I don't know Pixar made this game. I gotta say, for its time, for what it is, this was really well put together. Especially that games like Grim Fandango and Goosebumps Return to Horrorland were coming out years later, not looking anywhere as good as this. We're online! Hello out there! It's me! Yep! They needed the wishbone to try out their new Gizmo. Hey, yeah, let's give a dog an untested thing. What's the worst that could happen? Basically, this machine turns books into movies. Then Wishbone learns how to summon ducks and blow up shit. Oh. Wishbone gets a little nosy and freakazoids himself into a chalk zone and they lose their realistic pixels and everything's all cartoony. We are now known as Odysseus. Quick, hit the shift button. No? How about the Q button? Still no go. Oh, I got it! Hit 3 and then D. 3D! That ought to do the trick. Well, I made a duck! Once the cutscenes come in, we finally get a hold of how to play the game. Click once for an item, click twice to talk to a person, and blink three times if you're in danger. <laughs> we gotta get this naggy guy to move this crate onto the ship, but his thumbs are too sore. I have a sprained thumb and it's, oh, it's very painful. Oh, a little baby bitch boy. After enough nagging, he shows us his britches, and we sail upon the sea. <laughs> Sea. We arrive in an island of sorts and Mr. Naggy Pants won't come with us because he, he lost his sandals. Uh, uh. I lost both my sandals in the Trojan War. Even though they're literally right there. It's a miracle. You found them. We recruit some sheep into the navy and we find she... Whoa, 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 what was that? Wishbone, look out! We reassemble a goddess and she tells us she's always been watching. Nice special effects and wants to help us find something and then she disappears so we just slap on a shield and then she reveals us a helmet jokes on you lady no one likes gold anymore diamonds or gtfo then we get weenie hut jr to follow us this guy he's so ridiculous he's like that one friend who offers you to help with something and hopes that you'd say no but you just pile a fuck ton of shit onto them while you can go spend some quality time with uncle peter file mummy athena comes down and gives him a fucking 
dope are shit good old dick sucking to get him on his way then we use the gold helmet as a doorstop not sure how the doggo put it under the rock but bouquet for some reason we're going to your girlfriend's big old gaping vagina and there's a whole bunch of new zealand jokes here the sheep they love him then your average samoan rocks up and threatens to eat us he threatened he threatens to eat us he threatens to eat us he's going to eat us oh! we get him white girl wasted Little does he know I slept a little bit of Bill Cosby on that drink. <laughs> then we get back on the old ship and HOLY SHIT POSEIDON! We get another dope as fuck island and send some men off. Dick Van Dyke runs back saying these strapping young laps are in danger. So we gots to find them. Ooh, a wolfie! Hey, come on, easy there! We're practically cousins! <laughs> Welcome, much favored and handsome Odysseus. That ever stays the same. Everything changes, changes. Things are changing constantly. Everything changes. So the dog knows he's a dog, but everyone else just thinks he's a human being, just to defend this gross zombie dog fucker. We come across Marceline and she tells us to shove her meat in our mouth. Damn, that lady knows my weakness. Free food. But just like most big black things, you feed the wolf some KFC and it calms down. Let's play chicken! <laughs> and we rock up to hell. Literally, we take a boat to hell. Hi, Agamemnon. Agamemnon. Hi, Agamemnon. Agumon. Hi, Agamemnon. Agamemnon. That guy tells us about how he died in Troy DVD starring Brad Pitt as Russell Crowe and we see Odysseus wife and kid that have been abused for over a year. For a kid's game this is tackling some fucking dark themes. We're in hell talking to a dead guy of how his wife is getting raped. That's the setup we're getting right now. But hey, let's play Chinese checkers with this guy, because why not? And he gives us a red coin or something. We end up on this island again, and then some chimp died. Ah. Also... <coughs> there we go, no need to Dutch tilt here, thanks. We run into Calypso, and she is one horny, sexy baby lady. I'm Calypso, and I'd love to help you however I can. Everything changes! And she's not Jamaican. You're going to stay right here with me for all eternity. And just like every ex ever, she wants me to stay for eternity. <laughs> I'm desirable, I promise. Well, too bad the hook is on the way and I can't afford the premium deal to have a threesome, so scoot scoot! I've been watching this whole exchange. Oh fuck, she's here already! Oh shit, it's Zeus! Whoa, a little bit more skin than I would like to hope to see you there, Z. Hey, cow! How you doing? What's the matter? Not in the mood to talk? <laughs> Wishbone wants to make some wings to fly over this cliff straight out of Zoom Beanies. To do that, we just need to climb in this tree and get everything that we need. No going to any other specific place and talking to specific people to go to more specific places to get more little things like most other pointed clicks! <laughs> Slap a harp on a door and harp hero that shit, making fresh strokes straight out of 2007. Fuck yes! Mini game after mini game happens and we get a bag of wind. Okay. And another mini game after that, getting everyone home. Then we go back into the real world. Ah. I miss games where you'd get a certificate and you'd get to print it out and hang it on your wall. The next time you get stuck in a computer generated world, just give me a call. Oh, uh, Wishbone? Help me, where are you at, G? I, I, where are you? Wishbone and the Amazing Odyssey. Fucking point and clicks, man. Shit. Jerking myself off with the nostalgia. Wishbone is a cute as shit fucking dog and a cute as shit fucking game. Voice acting is on fleek and on that shit that you fucking millennials say. And I'm cancer now. Anyway, I like it. Story driven games like this are fucking good. Only thing is, you kind of don't know what you're doing because it's kind of hard to tell from wisecracks and information. 
like me. Huh. 10 out of 10, perfect game. We're on it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in here. Toodles! <laughs>